All right, so I'm trying to pick up a few stuff today from one of my favorite supermarkets. Man, it is so foggy outside. I have to like show what it looks like out. It's really foggy today. Really, really foggy today. Yeah. place has everything and their prices are so so reasonable so so reasonable look at this cinnamon swirl is like we can't resist that razor cinnamon two for six as you see they're going off the shelf brown sugar i don't know i'm gonna check out their circular or their flyer depending on what part of the world you are different names for the salespeople. <laughs> That's another name as well. And see what they have. They got Tropicana Twister, two for four. I can't remember which one I bought the last time. For some reason, a lot of people buy the fruit punch. And I always grab the tropical punch. So you know what? I'm going to switch it up this time and get the fruit punch. I'm just going to get one of these. So many different breads to choose from. Italian two for six. Prices are not bad here at all. Not bad. I got split up wheat the last time. It wasn't bad at all. Now they have Canadian white. I have to stay away from the white stuff. Oh wow. So mm. I'm gonna stick to the evil I know. And go with my split top wheat. I usually don't take from the front where everybody take from, so looks good. I don't know the difference between the brown eggs and the white eggs. Um my mom used to say the brown eggs are better. Jamaicans always say brown eggs are better. But to me, may I go by the price? The white eggs look good. A dozen is good for me. It's a wrap. I've seen these on Temu and all them other shopping sites. Is it a waste of money? These little egg pans. $5.99. It kind of helps because if you're just doing eggs... You don't really need a big frying pan because that happened to me plenty of time, but I'm definitely not going to get that. I am sick with this bacon. This brand, oh my God, once you cook it up, it comes out so nice and crispy. The Oscar Mayer brand, and I'm blowing up Oscar Mayer. The Oscar blowing them up in a bad way. Compared to this, the Oscar Mayer brand, uh, turkey bacon, Rubbery when you when you cook it and you have to put oil in the pan. This you put oil in the pan, but it comes out just like say Oscar Mayer here. Oh, nope. To me, it's leathery, for lack of a better word. But this comes out so nice and crispy, literally crispy. The next time I make them, I'm gonna do a little video and show you guys. This is another store brand product that I love so much. And don't be fooled, people. You got beef franks, yeah? And you got meat franks. The meat franks, you know, see there? Meat franks have all kind of different meats chopped up in it. And that one say extra mile. Me never hear that yet. They all say extra mile. Look at these. But I've tried their beef franks, and it's pretty good. $3.49. I've, I've been buying ballpark, and for some reason, ballpark, when it cooks, don't really satisfy my taste for hot dogs so i'm gonna go with store brand old neighbor 429 i'm gonna go i'm gonna stick to the evil i know i love 
don't be salamis, but they kind of pricey too. Anywhere you go, because it's good stuff, right? You know, I'll get good, good, good things for cheap price. Really, 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 really. Pork liver, moose with truffles. I mean, they really have nice high end stuff. Sakai, smoked salmon, bits. Real nice high end stuff for reasonable prices. Look at this white fish, salmon, smoked herring. Right? Not bad prices. If you fear an out a catfish, you can't get it here. Right? And it's not nearby. I had to take a, um, it's like about a 10 minute ride to here. But it's worth it. Yeah. Conchetta. Look at that man. One of these days, I'm going to try that. See them have it chopped up here. But one of these days, fresh, fresh noodles. Look at this. Fresh, fresh noodles. Fresh mushroom ravioli. Beautiful. Look at that. Pizza dough already made for you. Pizza dough already made for you. Look at that. A dollar forty-nine. English toasting pizza dough. Isn't that awesome? Next time I'm gonna come and get a bag and make homemade pizza. Look at that pizza dough. One ninety-nine and fresh pepperoni awesome and the cheese and everything so this is like the pizza section look at that they are way less expensive than stop and shop stop and shop is close by but they're very pricey Hattie bites. These are hot. I want regular pickles. Me know them have the regular pickles, the old snap pickles. I think they're by the takeout food section. They have a, a little hot plate section as well, as well, guys. But that's up front. You have a whole section of cold cuts or lunch meat already packaged out. Simple cured ham, apple glazed ham, turkey breasts, honey cured, all kinds. Yeah, fireside roasted turkey, and all kinds of cheeses. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. So, I went with uh. Salami. shop they mean cheese shop cheese over there and cheese over here again look at the wide array wide choices to choose from i love it <laughs> i think none is like a, a middle eastern Bread. Look how beautiful that is. And these are your regular tortillas. Nice 
nice array of flowers. Look at that. Oh my god, they're so nice. Four leaf clovers. St. Patrick Day is coming up soon. Look at the real four leaf clovers. Look at that. So pretty. Cactus. Is that what they call them? Green. Cream and herbs. Is that who makes them? Fresh cut tulips, five ninety nine. Not bad. Prices are reasonable. Coconut cashews. I get some loose potatoes. Green beans are two forty nine a pound. I'm wondering if I should get some. I love their fresh green beans. Because the last time I got some, it didn't come up to that much. I mean, like green beans, them nice and long. So, just get maybe about to get them done. Cook them early. Green peppers. English cucumbers, they're delicious. Ah, uh, look at the price of tomatoes. Two dollars a pound. Wow. Can't even get big tomatoes where we Jamaicans call salad to slice and put in your salad. But I'm trying to get fruits and veggies. I definitely need scallions. What's the price on the green onions? A dollar forty-nine. A bunch. I got two bunch of scallions. Them skinny, but we need them. Oh dear. Five ninety-nine a pound for cherries. I so love these cherries, but look at the price. Wow. I'm gonna try one. Oh man, they're worth it. Super sweet. Gooseberries. Price of everything gone up. Organic grapes, one pound candy grapes. These green grapes are really good though. Five ninety nine each. I think they have a bigger container that I usually get. Oh boy, I've never had fresh gooseberries. Anybody ever had gooseberries? Any of you guys ever had gooseberries? Leave a comment. Never had this. They look like they would taste good. See, it says tangy, tropical sweet. Three forty nine each. I'm tempted to get one. And I'm ashamed to say I never had these either. These are raspberries, not fresh raspberries. I've always wanted to try them, but the prices are ridiculous. I wouldn't use the word ridiculous because they're good stuff. Fresh, good fruits. That's okay. Go ahead. Real good fruits. Fresh and nice. Blackberries are two for four. That's not a bad price. 
I'm going to try one. I'm going to take blackberries, take a pack and try it. Two for four. That's why it's, it's their, their ditches are spaces in, on the, on the, uh, brr. I'm tongue tied. That's why there's so many empty spaces. <laughs> you see everybody buying it. I don't know what kind of mangoes these are, but I'm smelling them and they're smelling good. I'm looking if I see it up here. A longa, sour orange, sugar cane rods. A sugar cane rod, not dead, eh? Name yellow yam. I need yam you now. I need a piece of yam. So when I make my salted mackerel, I go with this little piece. Because they're three dollars a pound. The other one feels heavier than this one. So I'm gonna take this. Ah! <laughs> Super busy in here today. It's like Friday. It just turned noon time. And I didn't expect it to be this busy. I need apples and I can't remember the ones I got the last time that were so sweet. Two forty nine a pound for cosmic crisp. So they have the honey crisp for a dollar ninety nine a pound. Right? Granny Smith and Macintosh. I'm gonna try the honey crisp. I think I've had them before. I've tried so many different brand apples. I can't remember which one I really took the most. So I'm gonna get a few of these. Seedless grapes. Everybody been tasting, so why not? Mm -mm. Super chewy. Mm -mm. Let me try the red ones. Mm -mm. Butter them sweet. I did try. Super sweet, bone. It's two ninety nine a pound. I'm gonna go with this one. Running out of space in this cart, and I'm gonna get me the red one. Okay, these are the cherries I looked at earlier. Green ones are nice and sweet. So are the reds. I'm going to get me the reds. Looking for, uh, I don't know if they have it. I don't remember seeing it the last time. I'm checking for turkey wings. I've been searching for turkey wings. And... They have a wide variety of everything, and the prices are so good. But turkey wings. So the gentleman went to check. So in the meantime, I'm going to get what they call chicken paws. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate that. They don't have any turkey wings. So I'm going to get what we Jamaican call chicken foot. See them call it? Paws. I'm looking for a nice pizza roast. Around, stop my way at Stop and Shop. Eh. What's it called? Home about. Around my way. So, I'm going to go with between. Let me show you our prices we're working with to get a nice pizza roast. Let's see. 17. You have feet and all them things, but because of beef, by the time you cook it, it's going to shrink. So you want a nice piece, but you want something with some uh, fat on there as well to keep it succulent. That's 12. This is 11. Right? You know, I'm not dry out. So I don't know. Yeah, because the ones that are so lean, I remember I bought a lean piece one time and I should have pot roasted it. Because, boy, that baby came out so tough. I said, never again. And beef shrinks. So many of them should I get that? 
this is 12 but I like the 17 ones patro set 17 17 so you know what I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take another one so when I get to the register I'll figure it out and this one is 12 so I'm gonna put both of them in the cart and when we get to the register I'll see how that works out I promise y'all when I get to register I'm gonna be filming because they move fast thin cut just for Sunday dinner I might film that for you guys no promises but I'll try all right so I'm missing my hot dog roll So, yeah, where all the rolls are. Hot dog rolls. I was in the wrong aisle the whole time. I was asking the guy. He don't even know. But I leave them alone. Them busy. Store nice and well kept. Store is nice and well kept. And they're doing their job, so... That's okay. Okay, hot dog buns are here. I forgot which one I got the last time. Hamburger. Only two left, you know? Wow. I don't even know what's the price on it, but I need it. They got wheat, whole wheat. Hamburger rolls and stuff. It's kind of busy in here, surprisingly. But it's Friday. I shouldn't be surprised. Tomorrow, Saturday, going to be worse. These are the sliced ones, the split tops. But I don't really take to them. They're, they have six and eight, depending on which pack you want. So I think I'm just going to go with what I have in the cart already. Mm -hmm. 